When it comes to Newtonian telescopes, uh, the majority of them have what we call a rack and pinion focuser. That is, you'll see two small uh, wheels either side of the focus wheel. You turn them in and out to make the focuser move out to get focus. Now this is the Skywatcher Heritage 130P and with this one it's slightly different. It has what you call a helical focuser and so it doesn't have the wheels either side you basically screw it in I know I don't have an eyepiece on at the moment that's because I wanted you to see the, fo the uh, focuser more screw it like that uh, clockwise to move the focus in and away to move it out simple as that it's a bit of a love-hate thing some people like the idea uh, some people don't uh, with some of them you might notice a little bit of give in the threads but you can add a little bit of PTF tape uh, to stabilise that uh, if required. And basically the, the more you focus it in the further away and the more you focus it out is for more near objects but the chances are you're going to be focusing on infinity. Uh, and so uh, I've encountered, well a few customers have encountered, well it's not so much it's more uh, user error, to be honest, uh, rather than a fault with the system. Uh, I know maybe in the box it might be all the way in, in like that so it can get in the packaging. And in a, a society where a lot of us are quite used to auto-focus, you might just leave it at that and uh, think that everything will be in focus when you put the eyepiece in. But uh, I've had a, a few customers getting in touch with me and uh, uh, one said, uh, you might have to be a, a, a viewer because I, I know one or two of you have bought the scope off me uh, said that the, the star when they looked through it it looked really big and all they could see was the secondary mirror in the middle now for those of you who, who know uh, if you make a star look bigger and bigger and bigger you're not zooming in you're going further and further and further out of focus to the point where it's just one big blur and you've probably got the secondary mirror more in focus than what you're looking at and that is why you see that little uh, red dot that little black dot in the middle it may still be there when you look at the moon and you're in focus uh, but but by all means it it, uh, it will not distract you from the image that's just what you get with newtonians and so if you are seeing uh, either or a combination of a star looking really really big uh, no longer a point of light then you are way out of focus one way or another and in the same way if you were to uh, see that little secondary mirror showing up in, in the center of the image and somebody else said they were looking at Jupiter and again they said uh, with a similar scope to this it, it filled the, the full field of view uh, well again that tells me that they must have been a long long way out of focus and so there are, are a couple little tips just to uh, get you started uh, uh, I, I know it not uh, ideal for everybody but if let's say you've got uh, you're lucky enough to have a, a lovely vista looking out miles away then in the daytime put an eyepiece in and focus it on a distant object several miles away further away the better and then when it comes to observing night sky objects the stars and such like you'll be just about in focus and uh, if, if you can't do that then maybe if there's a, a chimney top in a neighboring house uh, or the top of a lamppost maybe what 30 meters away or so uh, focus again on that but then remember that the more you focus it in the, the further away the focus goes, if that makes sense, you can look at things further away. So if, you're, if it's focused on something, let's say 30 metres away, then when it, you bring your scope in ready to take it out later for the night sky, just do it, you know, screw it in just that little bit and then you, you'll have a, a starting point and remember where it is you know each time you've used it and so summing up really if you want a star to be in focus you want the smallest point of light possible not a big uh, blown up uh, blob of light you could call it because that will mean you're way out of focus you want that the smaller the point the, the sharper the focus you may think that's defeating the object I want to get closer to the, closer to the star but I don't think the Hubble telescope can even uh, uh, make a star look like it's a big circle of light. And so, yeah, that's uh, just a, a quick look around the Skywatch Heritage 130.
helical focus. I think it's the same with the Heritage 150 as well. Uh, just uh, things to look out for when focusing. You want that for stars. You want the smallest point of light possible. Uh, even better if you use a, a lower power eyepiece. It'll appear a lot sharper than that. But any, any problems? If obviously, yeah, I know, I know you're going to purchase the scope from us as always. Uh, yeah. So any problems? Just uh, give me a ring, and uh, I'll I'll talk you through the uh, focusing. Uh, so. As always, uh, oh yeah, and uh, before I forget, link to buy in the, in the description below, as always. And remember to order, uh, reply to the order confirmation email saying that you watch our YouTube channel and I'll put a little extra something in the box. So thank you very much, I'll see you next time.